our man in Jamaica. The international success of James Bond prompted the national cinemas of Italy, Spain, France, and others to copy it. They basically recreated the 007 formula on a smaller budget. The exotic locales are still there. So are the interesting gadgets and the super agents with names reminiscent of the famous English spy. Our man in Jamaica is suave and debonair. This attempt at coming up with the next bond created a cottage industry during the 1960s. These films are today collectively known as Euro spies. They reflect the Cold War times they were made in, with James Taunt, or Agent 077, fighting Spectre-esque organizations and Blofeld-like master spies. Euro spies, like the Bond franchise, also needed brand faces for audience appeal, and they created their own stars. Actors like Ken Clark and Margaret Lee are closely associated with the Euro spy film movement, as much as Daniel Craig and Ava Green are associated with James Bond, and they still have a devoted fan base around the world. But make no mistake, these films have an original raw style to them and a gung-ho approach when it comes to action direction. Then there is the intricate plots and intrigues. And these qualities distinguish Euro spies from their original source of inspiration and make them enjoyable on their own merit. Their production qualities may not be as high as those of the 007 movies but they helped in further developing international co-productions within Europe. As a result, these countries carved themselves a place on the genre filmmaking map. The Eurospy craze started hot in the heels of Dr. No's 1964 release and held its ground almost throughout the decade. Today, its influence can be found in non-mainstream espionage movie fare, like 2015's Man From UNCLE and the OSS 117 films. And what these features offer is an unconventional alternative to a genre dominated by the slick Bond style of filmmaking. Secret agent Gary relentlessly hunts down the leader In the end, Eurospies are first and foremost travelogue adventures. And even though they live in the shadow of James Bond, they present a unique type of visceral entertainment. <laughs>